Uh, well, your perimeter defense was a lot better uh, you know, tonight. Yeah, and, and, and they put you in a lot of uh, tough situations. Um, and they were different, you know, since the last time we played them in the regular season. Um, they just get you scrambling, running around, and then Simmons making uh, a bunch of plays. So it's, it's, not, it's not easy. Um, it's not supposed to be easy uh, in the playoffs. Um, we were a little bit better with our force uh, uh, tonight. Um, and we were able to, you know, make some shots down the stretch uh, to be able to keep them, keep them at bay. What did you see from, from Dwayne tonight that yeah. made him so effective? Yeah, I saw uh, moments. That's what, that's what uh, defines Dwayne Wade. Um, and, you know, we've seen that uh, so much before uh, over his career. Um, you know, he's not going to be logging the 40 minutes a game that he used to when uh, I coached him, you know, a few years ago. Um, but in these uh, compact minutes, uh, uh, he can s settle the group with with his experience, the championship level experience, just to, to add a little bit of a calm f for uh, some of our young guys. Um, it doesn't have to be this kind of game uh, every single night tonight. He needed to reach back um, and have one of those games, but um, but he has great maturity uh, and great presence uh, to understand that it might be different the next game. And, and uh, you know, if, if he has to facilitate, he'll do that as well. But uh, it was very, uh, a very uh, calming um, effect on, on the rest of our guys. Eric, they, they cut that 16-point lead down to two. Uh, at that point, what, you know, what did you see, how they, uh, how they were able to handle that from that point on? They, they turned it into overdrive, uh, a lot of transition opportunities there, a couple offensive rebounds, um, you know, particularly when we got up. Uh, we still had a, an 11-point lead, then we gave uh, – you know, an offensive rebound, uh, the open three to Sarch, and then they, uh, Simmons really started to push, and, and we gambled a couple times, and boom, the lead just disappeared like that. Um, but uh, we showed uh, some resilience to be able to execute. Uh, we, we had to get some coherent offense at, at that point, um, and we did. Uh, Gorn and Dwayne were making plays uh, on high pick and rolls. Um, and again, if you, if you have guys like that... Um, at least you can get something uh, in your wheelhouse, uh, and that's what we did. And, and JJ, you know, scored a couple, you know, big ones uh, down the stretch. Eric, um, it's probably an obvious question, but does this just change the entire mindset of this team now? No, no. Come on, if you if you watched any of our games this year with Philly, uh, they're just crazy games, so competitive. Um, you know, there was a couple of games where both teams gave up big leads. So even during the course of the second half, we know how big of a third quarter team they are, and we've paid the price for that in one of our games up here early in the season. Uh, they don't stop coming. So you know, all we did was was get one game. Um, you know, we have to get back to Miami and uh, rest for a day, and then uh, and then start to gear up again. This is a very competitive series. Coach, you, you've been around Dwayne for so long. How much longer can he give you and the NBA performances like this? I don't know. I just, I am, I'm enjoying just every minute of this. We've been through every stage of our pro careers together. Um, I don't know how long this will last. Um, that's why I want to enjoy it now. I want to make the most of, of these moments. Um, it's, it's fun having him back, uh, you know, part of the family. And uh, it just feels normal. Um, and again, it's it's not the same role. It's not 2009 Dwayne. Um, it felt like he played 40 minutes tonight. He only played 25, and it probably would have been less uh, if we didn't give up that lead. Um, but uh, you know, he was. He, yeah, I always say it's like that that country song. Not as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. Coach, I mean, I know you, you pay attention to the numbers when certain guys are on the floor, and, and in general, the numbers with him on the floor haven't been great this year. But is it just a matter of, hey, let's see what he can do, and then everyone... You're talking about Dwayne? Dwayne, He's yeah. different. Uh, you put him in a, in a Miami Heat uniform. I don't care what his numbers were anywhere else or all year long or at different times. Uh, you know, he was for these moments. Uh, do you even consider the specter of Embiid in this series now, or do you just... I think you have to. Uh, it would be irresponsible if we didn't. Eric, 
James has been lately back to what we saw a lot last year, but especially these the last two games, he's he's turned it. He's really turned it around. Can you just talk about or turned it up? Can you talk about what you know what you've seen from him and you know this this uh, this uptick in play lately? Yeah, and, and he's he's our heart and soul. You know, he does so many things uh, behind the scenes and things that don't show up in the box score. Uh, you know, you're you're happy for him when he actually has a game, and and it, you notice it in the box score, and you notice it uh, with the big plays he's making. But he does a lot of things that just make our our team different and more dynamic. Um, but he's been playing this way for a while. It's it's the guy that uh, we fell in love with last year. Um, you know, he's a little bit healthier now, but the last six weeks he's been playing uh, impactful basketball for us. Justice did tonight um, on the defensive end, especially on Ben, the physicality and just the overall job you guys did. Yeah, it, three point line. Simmons can overpower you. Uh, it's a unique blend of absolute power and speed and size. Uh, it has to be you, a bunch of different guys. You have to have a roster and some personnel where you can, you know, throw uh, different guys on, on them because he's going to. Go through guys and put foul trouble on you. He's going to uh, collapse the, the defense and get you in rotations. Um, you know, it's it's hard to imagine. He's he's 20 years old, but uh, Justice is, is a competitor. He, he was probably the one uh, positive from game one. Um, how he put his uh, competitive uh, will on that game, and he, he carried it over to the first half. And just, and just as a quick follow up, if I could. Um... The job that uh, Richardson did tonight, especially getting to the rim after what kind of happened in game one. Yeah, you know, it's it, it's not necessarily about the scoring. Um, you know, he's kind of an all-around player. Um, he doesn't get a lot of play calls for him, so it, sometimes it just depends depends on the on the flow and whether the ball is going his way or not. That's a tough position to be in, you know. When we ask him to defend all the team's other you know top scores, um, and then just kind of space the floor and and uh, and create some second opportunities for us. It, sometimes you can get out of rhythm doing that. So I, I wasn't really overreacting to game one. I, I just wanted him to you know put his fingerprints on the game, and it didn't have to necessarily be in the box score. But he was more assertive tonight on both ends, and um, and that's the Jay Rich that uh, that we like and we need. Hassan only played 15 minutes tonight, but he seemed he was a little yeah, more, great more, more engaged Great minutes, tonight. no doubt. Uh, his activity level was superb. Um, Without those 15 minutes, um, you know, it might have been totally different. Those were much needed. Um, he got in, you know, that uh, fourth foul. Um, I had every intention to put him back in in the fourth. We just didn't get around to it when they made their run, and uh, they went even smaller. Um, but we can definitely build on that.